Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Martian Dreams! When we last left off, we were about to enter this building, but I few saw a few more berry bushes. Well, there's a lot more berries. We're gonna collect these berries. Because real men eat berries. Apparently. Oh, get the berries and get the berries. I forget what the green ones do. Oh, it's easy enough to find out, though. Okay, we got the berries. So now we shall move the berries. All 32 berries. Into the bag of berries. Okay. Let's carry on. Into this building! I believe this is the mother load, the power plant. It's underground. It's very dark. I believe this is warrants using the, the um, lantern, Nelly. So I want you to use the tinder box on the lat. It doesn't really fi fix much, but it's there. We got like a conveyor belt there. And a box of room. Let us examine some of this stuff. We see a panel. These appear to be electrical controls. And these appear to be valve controls. We shall also use these chests. We find a sledgehammer, a replacement track, a replacement track, and a replacement track. How exciting. I'll move the crate there, and then use the crate. I'm searching about a wrench, pliers, tongs, and a hammer. Awesome. The hammer sounds useful, actually. Well, the Spectre can't carry hammers. He is not mad enough for that, but Dibs, oh, Dibs, he wants the hammer. You're gonna see Dibs needing the hammer. Dibs, I want you to grab that hammer. Thank you. Okay, let's move on. Back underground. Mining. Minecraft. Oh, it's one of these things. What is that? Look at it. It's a cave worm. Okay, let's see what a cave worm is. It threw something at me. Probably like a piece of slime. Okay, mysteries of the red planet. Here we go. The cave worm is here. It's not a glow worm. It's a cave worm. Unlike its distant relative, the extinct canal worm, the cave worms are quite real and quite deadly. These glowing, shelled cave dwellers can grow up to lengths of 10 feet, but a spinning attack makes them a threat at greater distances. Once prey comes within reach, a cave worm uses grasping tentacles to squeeze the life of its victims. Like many Martian creatures, the cave worm secretes a burning acid through its skin. Victims are, in essence, rendered down to liquid, which the Nathless worm absorbs through its skin. This is an enemy. We need to destroy this enemy. Mom had it. Okay, worm is dead! There you go. That wasn't very deadly, was it? We hear something to the east, and of course we can't use our spyglass. So we'll just be aware. I'm probably going the wrong way. What's this? Look at it. It's a janitor. Let us talk to the janitor. There is no response. Well, shall we attack the janitor? No. Oh, apparently I shot myself because I didn't attack the janitor. Don't attack the janitor. I said don't attack the janitor. Leave the janitor alone, thank you. I like the suspenseful music. It's... I think we're getting more and more hopelessly lost here. The lantern is out of fuel. This is not a good thing, Nelly. Well, do your job. Use the fuel. Okay, then light it again. Okay. Oh look, there is a jumping bean. Oh. 
die. Oh, it's a bush rat. Let's just slash it with our saber. I like fencing. I don't actually do it, but it's cool. What do we have over here? I see myself. Well, how revelationing is that? We see... No, don't talk to the coal. Look at the coal. It's a pile of coal. We are sailing to the northeast again. The janitor has been destroyed. Okay. I don't understand. We see another janitor. Ignore it. I don't understand what these janitors are. I thought a janitor was like a person that cleaned toilets or something. Oh well. Why don't we just ignore the janitors and move on with our lives? This way. That was an exciting experience. There must be some people here. Come on. Like some non-janitor people. You'd think there'd be some miners of all the coal miners here. Coal piles. But not down here. But carrying on of our lives. Oh look, it's a thingy. It's a mechanical man. Let us talk to the mechanical man. We see a gold metallic mechanical man. The golden head swivels towards you. What is your name, mechanical man? I am called Coker. Hello, Coker. I should give you a better voice than that. I am called Coker. Hello, Coker. Okay. Hello. It is not of my part of my function to nail that. Okay, Coker. Um, what is your function? It is not a part of my function to know that. Your job. I extract coal from the wall and place it down on the conveyor belt. Coal, eh? The coal is in the wall. It must be moved to the belt. Conveyor. What is the conveyor? When the belt is empty, I move coal to, to it from the wall. The belt moves the coal to the stoker. Who is stoker? Stoker takes the coal off the other end of the belt. Okay. Bye. Tur the head turns away from you, and the man returns to what he was doing. The man, eh? Well, let us move and see, okay. We don't see any problems from Coker doing his job. But as you can see, this ribbon is busted. Let's see this, this stoker down here. Oh, look, there is a stoker. Let us look. We see another mechanical man. I'm a mechanical man. Very CNC. We see a gold metallic mechanical man. The golden head swivels towards you. What is your name? I am called Stoker. Okay, what is your job? I assist in the process of power generation by moving coal from the conveyor belt to the furnace. Power, hey? Absolute power. The generators create electrical energy. These are broadcast towers which then distribute the energy to the surface of the planet. Electrical energy is crucial to the management of the world. Towers, eh? The towers are located at the end of the mine tunnels to the east of my chamber. The final tunnel is th to the surface is wide and well lit. The above ground cables are fragile and must be protected from any kind of power surge. Any sudden change in power could damage them, and they are essential to surface power distribution. Damage, eh? That is not my function. There are plantinals and mechs who function as repair units, following instructions from scrolls. Ah, uh, those must be what the janitors do. The janitor just walked around doing stupid things before. Okay, so what can we do? Um, coal. It appears on the belt and is put in the furnace. Belt? The conveyor belt supplies coal which I put in the furnace. The conveyor belt is not functional and must be repaired. Dibs pops up and goes, Lieutenant Dibbs clears his throat and says, There's that fellow named Dibbett who lives at Olympus. I am certain that he knows how to fix a canvas conveyor belt. Stok Stoker looks at me almost expectantly, and I'm sure all of you at home do as well. Will we fix the conveyor belt? Well, we'll find out next time we play Martian Dreams! <laughs>